Hi, I'm Alice Hoffmann, an indie artist from Austria. Recently, I've been playing catch up with my to-do list because I've been sick with COVID a while ago. I'm getting there and I wanna get back into the YouTube game and uh, make my in videos a little bit more interesting. So I'm trying something new with like more footage and stuff. I hope it will be enjoyable for you. The new artwork in today's video is a late birthday gift for Zvetska, who actually had their birthday in July. It is what it is. So here we are. I'm drawing their OC Norbert, who is sort of a problematic dude, you can say. <laughs> for starters, he's a murderer. <laughs> yeah. And other than that, an alcoholic smokes a lot. Also pretty rude, which, yeah. Not a guy you want to be around, but he is our problematic fave. So while the time lapse is in the background, I'd like to just talk about recent stuff I've been up to. So my COVID symptoms were probably about average in severity. I felt really sick for about three days where I couldn't move that much because I was so tired. And uh, also I had this thing where I was extremely cold for no reason. So yeah, I stayed put in my bed and <laughs> stayed away from my boyfriend as much as possible. So gladly he didn't get sick, which is yay, <laughs> which is awesome. But yeah, unfortunately I could not sleep well at all because my nose was more stuffy than usual and I am chronically you know, stuffed and cold. So this was next level. My health got better just in time for our booked vacation. And I mean really in time, like I nearly had to delay it. So whew. This year we decided to do a camping trip not that far away from home and it was at the little lake next to the camping site. There were a bunch of mountains and tons of cows so it was the hyper Austrian landscape. It was my first time sleeping in a tent which had its challenges. Our initial air mattress was one large piece, so I felt it any time when my boyfriend turned around and stuff like that. So I couldn't sleep properly until we swapped them for two separate ones, but then it was fine for me comfort-wise. One night it was raining in heaps, so no people sat outside talking and shouting anymore, and oh, this was one of the most intense sleeps I've ever had. I low-key am thinking about every now and then just sleeping outside in some garden because it was that good. <laughs> but yeah, for the most part we kept the vacation casual and chill and played a lot of board games and card games. Of course we also went swimming in the lake every now and then. And yeah, the good thing is that this lake wasn't majorly overrun, even though it is so small. You still had way enough space. It's not really crystal clear water since parts of it are a nature conservation area. But yeah, even that greenish water had its own beauty, I'd say. I went hiking three times that week to get my physical condition up again. A close by mountain was calling me there, so I picked that one. That was the longest hike of them, about six hours in total, which so far is also my personal record. And it was dreamy, I tell you. No one else was around for most of the trail because I went very early. The nature was stunningly beautiful. But yeah, because of how long the walk took, eventually both my phone and Garmin watch batteries were drained and I also packed way too little food and was starved for anything to eat when I got back. So yeah, that might have been a little bit risky, but as you can hear, it worked out. And thinking about it all, I really want to hike again soon. Well, eventually we got back home from the vacation. I recently bought a new phone in order to have a better camera. And the thing is, now that phone also has space for games like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and Love Life. And I knew right away that this was a dangerous decision to download these games, but damn it, they are so much fun. <sighs> I just have to be very careful to not play them like half a day. But I also realized how much work it is to set up your Yu-Gi-Oh! deck if you haven't played in a while. Because I played, uh, you know, way back when the first season aired. And yeah, nowadays I have to learn all those new mechanics like synchro summoning and what's it called, XYZ stuff. <sighs> it's like Marvel all over again, but for a game, you know. But yeah, one of these days I might learn how this stuff works. Recently was also my 31st birthday. To be honest, I don't get why people are so queasy about being 30 or older, because to me it's just way better than anything around 20. 
I think it's a really nice age, to be honest, because now I've got most things figured out and I still get to experiment with life and it's not like I'm, you know, at the breaking point and my body's falling apart or anything. You can still improve those things if you want. And I've been one who has done the same thing. I mean, my back used to be a mess and I managed to get rid of my back pain. So if I can do it, anyone can. Other than that, I am committed to eating more plant-based foods overall. I'm not going like fully vegan, but I want to aim at around 90% plant-based foods. Just in general, because it feels good to eat it and I don't get those after meal, you know, tiredness that I often get from meat-based food. And it also probably helps me lose weight in a way that other foods just can't. I've tried keto, I've just done calorie counting for ages and intermittent fasting, of course. So yeah, none of those really did anything for me over a longer amount of time. So I'm giving this a shot because why not? A pretty big secret project that I'm in the middle of is planning a convention with a few other people. And this one is funny because like about five years ago, I had been somewhat half acidly saying, oh, I want to plan a convention one day and haha, give me like five years and then I'm gonna plan a really awesome convention. And yeah, I was kind of thinking out loud and didn't even have that serious plans of ever doing it, but I guess that synchronicity. I'm not against it. On the contrary, I am so looking forward to it because now I've got a few people who are very committed to their parts of the deal and I get to do the logos, designs and mascot stuff, decorations and yeah, some other organization stuff that I absolutely think I can pull off. And of course, we also intend to take our time with this project because it's a lot to, you know, set up. So the time frame we have in mind is 2024. So not next year, but the year afterwards. And I think we can do this. <laughs> I'm just really excited to see where this is going. Uh, we haven't made any official reveal yet, so of course I will still keep the details a secret. But if you are from Upper Austria and maybe interested in organizing or helping us, then please do contact me for more information and I can invite you to our top secret Discord server. I really hope you enjoyed the new video and the new editing style and I for one had my fun with Norbert. I really hope Zvetska gets around to doing more art of him because oh boy is that a wonderful, wonderful gorgeous man. A problematic one but so damn handsome that I don't give a shit. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.